Hey everybody, uh, it is 3.36 uh, down here in Florida in the afternoon and I am right around 24 hours post-op. Um, I'm feeling a little stiff right now, but I just took like a three hour nap and I'm not used to sleeping on my back and I can't move. I've got pillows propped on either side of me so I can't roll onto my sides hopefully. Um, my hip is killing me but the bed's a little hard so I think that's probably what it was. Um, my throat feels a lot better than it did yesterday. Uh, still a little sore right after I wake up. And, uh, but within about 20 minutes it's fine now. Um, I'm finding little puncture holes on me, like, oh, and I've got the hiccups. I've got a couple here, I've got like four on this shoulder, two on this shoulder. Um, and I'm assuming that's where they put the towel clamps for sur surgery, because those are sharp little things, and you have to clamp them close to pretty much where they puncture the skin just a little bit, um, to make sure the towels don't fall off. I've had the hiccups all day today, um, but that's a side effect from the anesthesia for some people. And it was one that I knew that I had for my appendectomy. Because when I had that, I had the hiccups for like four days. No, three days solid. And uh, that sucked. Real bad. Um, these ones haven't gotten painful yet. <sighs> yet, they're just annoying. So I'm dealing with them. Um, yeah, I've tried all the little get rid of your hiccups remedies. and Nothing works. I just have to make, make them wait wait for them to go away. Uh, Sam went down to the pool because we have a uh, pool at the hotel and uh, she asked if I was good and I'm like yeah just go have fun it's all good I'm just gonna dig around online for a while wake up some more. Um, yeah I had dinner last night with another guy no not last night Monday night uh, with another guy who had surgery yesterday right before me. Um, probably getting together hopefully another time or, or two while we're both down here. Um, him and his friend are real cool. Um, having dinner tonight with uh, a fellow that's having his top surgery tomorrow, tomorrow morning. Uh, so I'm just connecting with all sorts of people down here. And it's real neat. I like it. Ah, stupid hiccups. I don't like those. Um, but no, as far as like pain, I'm not really in pain. I am uh, just the tiniest bit sore, like sore ouchy type, like right here on either side. And I don't know how much of that is the bandage or because of how I was sleeping. So I've had my arms propped up on the pillows. Um, so I may end up trying to scoot those down so that my arms are a little more flat tonight, or scooch them up so they're, I don't know, I think I just gotta fuck with the pillows, figure out why. Um, see, other than that, I'm not draining very much at all, really. Um, I'll show, show you. I would just move the camera, but my box and, bo boxers don't have a button, so they kind of flap open. So this is my right side, and that's probably about 15, and that's my left side, and that's probably only about 5, and I drained, I emptied the drains at like 7.30 this morning, so I'm hardly draining anything today. Uh, yesterday was just from surgery between like 3.30 and like 9.30 last night. Between those two, I think I emptied out 40 out of my left and 30 out of my right. Or switch those numbers. It was 40 out of one and 30 out of the other total. And uh, that was m less time than has gone by between when I changed them this morning and now. Um, I'm not worried about it. I've stripped the tube tubing a couple times just to make sure there's not a clot, and that's why I'm not draining. But 
there's no clots that that I can see out of the ace wrap, so <laughs> unless there's one like underneath the ace bandage, which there's nothing I can do about that anyway. They seem to be working just fine. I just I'm not producing a whole lot of fluid, I guess. Maybe I'm not drinking enough water. Yeah, I might might be dehydrated, that might be what it is. Um, anywho, uh, woke up this morning, felt real good. Uh, me and my girl walked next door to a cute little dive re restaurant that's owned by, you know, a mom and pop, and they've only got, I think, like, five or six employees total, if you count the cooks, and, but, <laughs> we went, um, Monday morning for breakfast, um, and we had the same server today, and she comes out, and she's like, all right, so, Mountain Dew and a coffee, right? Yeah. I'm like, remember our drinks, and she brings those out. She's like, are we doing the breakfast specials again? You want scrambled eggs and sausage and white, and you want over easy and ha uh, grits and white with bacon? You know, and like completely remembered our order and, you know, and like brought our food out. And she's like, oh, hon, I'll be right back. I forgot your honey. And like, we basically didn't have to order at all, you know. And it wasn't that she was like, here, this is what you're getting. It was, you know, that's what you got last time, so you ate it all, so I'm assuming you like it, and you didn't look at the menus, so. But no, it's a cute little restaurant, it's right next door, I mean, it's, it's not even three minute walking distance. Like, our little hotel does like a little horseshoe shape, and just on the outer side, like just between us and the street, is this little restaurant, so. It's super cute, and they're all nice, and the food's really good. Um, so if you end up, for anybody who ends up coming down here, if you end up in Hollywood, it's, it's right on the corner of uh, North Federal, which is US 1 and Taft Street, and it's called uh, Miami Restaurant on the outside. If you go inside, it says Miami Bar and Grill, I believe, but yeah, I definitely recommend the breakfast special. It's $3.99, two eggs, hash browns or grits. Two meat, two meats. You can get uh, bacon, link sausage, or patty sausage. Uh, a side of toast and jelly. Yeah, all for like four bucks. <laughs> so, they, we did that for breakfast again today, and we'll probably end up doing that the rest of the week just because fourteen bucks isn't bad, and it keeps us from having to go by. We have a a fridge in the hotel but not a freezer so we can't do any like the frozen TV dinners and they don't make a whole lot of good breakfast ones anyway I'm not fond of the microwave little pancakes but that it gets us out of the hotel I think Sam's itch itching to go to the beach again um, I know we're doing that after dinner with, uh, f with, with the guy and his girlfriend um, I think they're gonna come because they're up in Sunrise, and Sunrise is a little f closer, uh, it's further from the beach, but a lot closer to Garamoni. Um, but, yeah, so, um, I know I've rambled a lot, but, it's so weird, like, with my, even with the ace bandage and all the, you know, the cast, cast padding and everything they put underneath it, my chest is still flatter than it w ever could get when I was binding. I mean, I even tried like two of the double front compression binders, could not breathe in them, could not get my chest this flat. So I know it worked, but I keep having nightmares that I'm going to wake up and like they're going to be there again and it's just, like this last couple days are just going to be a cruel, cruel joke. And I know it's not. But I've had that dream so many times where I woke up in my dream and I'd be like, oh, yay, look, I, I had surgery. Look at me. I'm awesome. My chest is fabulous. And then I would really wake up and it would just almost throw me into a depression. And right before surgery, it was getting so frequent. It was almost every night. And But I know this is real because I've had multiple tell me that it's not a dream. Um, and... If it is, it's the most expensive dream ever. 